Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining. My name is Faye Ellis and I'm delighted to be joined today by the awesome Forest Brazil. Forrest, thank you so much for joining us. Would you like to introduce yourself? Of course, thanks Faye. It's wonderful to be here, wonderful to be back here really. Um, I spent a number of years working for uh, ACLAG Guru and then just very briefly for Pluralsight um, after uh, Pluralsight acquired them. Uh, I'm kind of a long time cloud and DevOps guy. I worked at Google Cloud for a while, uh, helping folks around the world understand how to use uh, cloud technologies. And um, as of the uh, last couple of months, I've actually left there to spend more time doing uh, some of the things I'm really passionate about, which include um, helping folks take their first steps into a, a cloud career. And I think that's what we're going to talk about some today. So we are here to talk today about the Cloud Resume Challenge and how people can use it to help kickstart their career. So Forrest, could you explain to us what is this Cloud Resume Challenge? Yeah, so you can check it out for yourself at cloudresumechallenge.dev. Uh, I created this early on in the pandemic, actually. I was working from home. A lot of tech people were working from home, but a lot of my friends that weren't in tech were, were not. And they were starting to think about, you know, is there an opportunity for me to upskill here, to change careers, but I don't have a four-year traditional college degree in computer science, right? What does it look like for me as a non-traditional uh, tech person to, to uh, actually have a career in this industry. And uh, so the Cloud Resume Challenge is, it's not a traditional like tutorial type project that gives you a bunch of, uh, you know, things to read and uh, co commands to copy and paste. It's more of a, a spec. It's, it's a list of things you have to accomplish, a list of objectives. And essentially, it's asking you to put your personal resume in the cloud to create a personal website for yourself. But there's very specific things that you have to do. Uh, you have to actually write code in a couple of different programming languages. You've got to learn how to uh, create a static website and deploy that to the cloud. You've got to work a little bit with CICD, with source control. There's networking and security aspects to it. If you can actually complete all 16 steps of the Cloud Resume Challenge, and they're, they're quite uh, difficult if you're brand new to this space, you will have done something not only that you know a lot of uh, people new to the industry haven't done, but a lot of people who are three, four, five years into their career, they haven't done that either. In fact, every day we have um, established professionals working on the Cloud Resume Challenge because they say, I've actually never strung all those skills together in one project. This would be super helpful for me to do as well. So it's legit. It works. There have been thousands and thousands of people that have gone through it now over the last four years. Uh, and it's really exciting to me to have that opportunity to continue to help the community uh, upskill. Amazing. So it's 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 a challenge where you don't get that step by step tutorial, you know, watching yeah. somebody else complete those steps. And instead, it's like you're learning like an engineer, really, aren't you? That's right. Learning like an engineer is what I like to say, because if you're in the industry professionally, you know, the challenges you're going to be given day in and day out, I mean, they're brand new, right? There is no tutorial for how to solve those. That's why you've been hired to solve them, right? So you have to figure out how to learn by, you know, opening up a bunch of Google tabs, or maybe now it's a bunch of chat GPT tabs, right? And you've got to be comfortable going and talking to that colleague at your desk and figuring out how to get help from them in five minutes, knowing when you're stuck, when you need someone else to unblock you, right? Learning how to power through frustration. Uh, and then learning how to kind of be baptized by fire, right? It's, it's only when you actually do the hard work of learning yourself that the answers that you learn really stick with you. When you go into a job interview and they ask you to explain DNS to them, what are you going to remember better? The thing you crammed for for 10 minutes to take some test or the thing that you spent five days fighting against, you know, and then you actually saw it working. Those are the things that are burned into your brain. The Cloud Resume Challenge is designed to help create experiences like that for you. Yeah, absolutely. And you're, and you're also learning how to troubleshoot at the same time. And yes. I think troubleshooting is a real skill. And once you get your head around it, you know, how do I actually unpick this and figure yeah. out what's going wrong? It's those are skills you can apply to lots of different situations within tech. So um, can you give us some examples of some successes that people have had completing the challenge or completing past challenges that you've organized? Oh, gosh. I mean, there's so many. I, you know, the, the, I would say the plurality of folks who take the cloud resume challenge are folks who are coming out of it kind of an older form of IT or they, they want to upskill and get some cloud skills on top of maybe they've been like a, you know, Windows admin for a while, or they worked on a help desk or an, uh, a knock or something like that. But we also have a ton of folks who are career changers who are coming into the cloud resume challenge from absolutely zero tech background. And I'm always kind of in awe of those people because they're performing a pretty remarkable 
remarkable intellectual feat to jump in on this. And we have folks who've done this who've been, you know, I don't know, loggers, and truck drivers, and you know, stay-at-home moms who are returning to the workforce, all kinds of things. One of my favorite stories, um, I worked early on in the life of the challenge with a fellow named Daniel, uh, who was a residential and commercial plumber in Atlanta. And, uh, you know, what he learned is he had decided to dive into the challenge is that a lot of the skills that he picked up as a plumber really transferred well to the world of cloud, right? Instead of, uh, you know, sewer pipelines, he was working with CICD pipelines, but it, it goes beyond the semantic. I mean, what, what we realized is that Daniel had these really rock solid real world ops skills, right? He understood business continuity. He understood how to partner with someone else to troubleshoot a problem. And when you're in the plumbing world, you're constantly trying to like, you know, I've got a problem like this, this entire building, there's some stinky gas escaping from it. And I've got to figure out, you know, uh, where in all this maze of pipes, this gas is escaping. And I've got to address that problem without taking the whole business offline, right? These are the kind of things that plumbers deal with day in and day out. And that transfers really, really well to an ops kind of a role. We've seen that over and over again. Really, the challenge is less trying to, you know, get these folks to succeed at the challenge because they bring tremendous skills and motivation and aptitude to it. It's more about just convincing hiring managers, you know, to take a chance on them. That's the hard part. I mean, the people are great. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, well, that's um, really encouraging for all of us. Uh, Now, you've got a brand new challenge that we can all try. Could you tell us a little bit about that? That's right. So the Cloud Resume Challenge community has grown a lot. There's a Discord server that you're welcome to join. You can access that at cloudresumechallenge.dev. But we've also had the the Cloud Resume Challenge itself is open source. There's a large open source repository of other challenges that have been created in that same kind of learn like an engineer spirit. Um, And a lot of those are featured on the Cloud Resume Challenge website as well. The most recent one we're working through, we've been working through it throughout the month of March and it'll continue on. Uh, We're doing a Kubernetes specific challenge uh, that's really focused on uh, just, you know, if, if you feel like you kind of missed the boat on Kubernetes, you've been hearing about it for a few years and you just want to like, you don't, you don't want to go and do, you know, a, a whole bunch of, um, uh, you know, just kind of random tutorials on it. You want to sit down and build something, start to finish, right? And just see it work. That's what this challenge is designed to do. It'll get you building uh, your own Kubernetes cluster. You'll be working through some performance and optimization tasks with it. You'll be working through some things with persistent state. You'll be doing some automation. Uh, really, uh, we've had a lot of folks jump to it and say, yeah, this is the thing I needed to make me feel like, okay, I get Kubernetes and know what it is. Again, it's free to try. You can check that out at cloudresumechallenge.dev right now. Awesome. Oh, fantastic. I look forward to having a go at that. I love Kubernetes. Um, So what would you say to somebody who is feeling maybe a little bit nervous about trying one of these challenges? Where can people get help if they get blocked uh, or they've got an error they can't get through? So first off, if you're feeling nervous about this, and that's totally normal, it's a it's a big chunk to bite off. I, I would say just know there's really no way you can lose by trying this, right? You know, worst case scenario, you get into the cloud resume challenge and you spend that time going down the rabbit holes and Googling the things, and then you realize that you're just not enjoying it and you don't like it. That's a totally valid outcome to take out of this, you know, because these actually are the real problems that cloud engineers work on in their day-to-day work, right? And if you find that that's just not your cup of tea, that's great to know before you go and like, you know, spend a bunch of money on a, you know, boot camp or something. Uh, but if you do find that you are enjoying powering through this, or at least you could, you could stand it, uh, you know, then you've, you've ended up building something that is actually Im- somewhat impressive to folks out in the industry. The cloud resume challenge is modular. There are several components to it. Even if you only get halfway through, you'll still have built something you could show off in a job interview or uh, talk about uh, with your peers. And, um, you know, I, I would just say, if you feel nervous about it, uh, there's no way you can lose. Give it a try. Only good things are going to happen. Uh, if you are looking for more resources to, to get you going, I've mentioned the website a couple times. There's a Discord server there. We've got thousands of people in that server. Many have done the challenge in the past. Some are actively working on it right now. Uh, and I do think this is a project that's best done in community, just like in a in a job. You know, you're not going to be kind of in this ivory tower all by yourself. You'll probably be on a team. And some of those people will have different strengths and weaknesses than you do, right? So if you surround yourself with people like that now, you're building great skills uh, of, you know, how to how to develop software in collaboration. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Yeah. If you want to learn how to swim, you just got to jump in the water. Uh, and That's I think right. it's kind of the same with with tech skills, just doing a little bit each day and just jump in there and, and see how you get on. So we can't talk about technology without mentioning generative AI. So how can people use generative AI when they're working on their own portfolio projects? 
They, they certainly can. And honestly, at this point, I would say should. I mean, that's the world we're living in now. I think that you're kind of head in the sand if you're not acknowledging that. I actually added, when I updated the Cloud Resume Challenge guidebooks, which you can buy if you want on the Cloud Resume Challenge website. You don't need them for the challenge, but they it, a lot of folks find them helpful. Um, I added uh, to the, the book some specific uh, guidelines on generative AI. And here's, here's basically what I've come down to after working with this for a year or two. I think your best chance of success using generative AI on a project like this is not going to be using it as kind of your, uh, you know, um, your delegate to go and write the code for you because you're not really going to learn a lot doing that. You're, um, you know, it's that's exactly the opposite of the learn like an engineer mentality. Uh, and again, in a real job where you have a brand new problem, maybe AI is not going to be able to do that, right? What I would suggest you do is think of generative AI as a teacher, an infinitely patient, always on teacher that's right next to you. And so I would suggest uh, prompting, you know, chat GPT or uh, Google Gemini or whatever your um, AI of choice is. Uh, when you, for example, let's say you have a stack trace. A lot of people really struggle uh, when they're working on this project, they're writing code for the first time and they, you know, their Python program crashes and it spits out this um, it, what to them looks like an incomprehensible uh, series of you know lines of text, uh, and somewhere in there it explains the line of um, code that the problem occurred on. Sometimes hard for folks to wade through that. Turns out AI is really good at helping you wade through that. Throw that in there. Let it explain to you what the problem is, so that then you can go and fix it. Right? Uh, if you've got you know uh, just a, a conceptual struggle, right? Where you, I have a lot of people come to me saying things like, "Hey, I I just I really don't get what the deal is supposed to be with uh, you know serverless. Why?" What, what does a function do? The, the uh, Cloud Resume Challenge is built around these concepts. Ask ChatGPT and keep asking it questions, you know, and, and let it explain things to you. Let it draw you a diagram, if need be, to explain things, right? Folks find this really helpful. I wouldn't shy away from that at all. I would just look at it as something that's helping you be a better version of yourself rather than it's doing the learning and thinking instead of you. Make sense? Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Brilliant advice. Yeah, use it as your as your as your tutor, or sometimes I use yep. it as a kind of a helpful research assistant. Yeah, uh, that's right. Find information very quickly, uh, that kind of thing. De deciphering error messages, brilliant use for uh, for AI. So uh, everybody, check out. Make sure you check out uh, cloudresumechallenge.dev uh, and see all the details of of all of the different. Uh, cloud resume challenges that have been running and specifically the, the Kubernetes one, which I'm definitely going to check out. Uh, we've got our Discord server. We've got the guidebooks that are, are available uh, on, on the Cloud Resume Challenge website. And there's also loads of Pluralsight content which covers Kubernetes Essentials, Kubernetes Quick Start, uh, Kubernetes Basics, uh, Kubernetes for Azure, GKE, and also I think we've got uh, EKS Basics as well. So we've got loads of, uh, loads of content available around Kubernetes if you are interested. Well, that, that's thank right. You so much. Thank you so much, Forrest. Um, can I give you one more opportunity to say if you've got one last piece of advice for everybody? My, my biggest advice is just do the thing. Just jump in. You know, uh, if you think too much about it, um, you'll psych yourself out of doing it. So just, uh, you know, a lot of folks have been through this challenge before. There's a ton of resources to help you. But if you have the motivation to dive in, I think only good things are going to happen. And we would love to see you do it. Absolutely. Yeah, you're not alone. Good luck, everyone.